Right now, suburban high school community is coping with the sudden loss of a student. Eric Lonnie Lonvik died a few days ago from complications of a heart condition. Today, we talked to his former coach and also a doctor about his illness. Honoring a short life, but one well lived. You remember all the good stuff that this young man represented. Eric Lonnie Lonvik was a senior at Glenbard West High School. An offensive lineman for the Glenbart West Hilltoppers football team and an Eagle Scout, he died unexpectedly March 3rd. Eric was 18. Bill Cesario was his youth football coach. And he was just starting to blossom. I mean, this kid was a, a, a great young man. And then in high school, he started, you know, finding his way. Eric's family says he had an unexpected cardiac event caused by Wolf Parkinson White syndrome. It's a heart condition people are born with. It causes a rapid heart rate. Some symptoms include shortness of breath, a pounding in your chest, dizziness, and in rare cases, cardiac arrest. It could be diagnosed at any age. It, it is more common in, in young people. Dr. Timothy Larson is a cardiologist who specializes in arrhythmias at Rush University Medical Center. Sudden cardiac death is rare, but it can be the first manifestation of this this disorder and it, it occurs not because of a heart attack but because of an electrical abnormality. He says the Wolf Parkinson White syndrome is identified with an EKG test but high school athletes not routinely screened. A screening EKG as part of a, a pre-participation sports evaluation will, will may be able to pick up asymptomatic individuals with this condition. In a statement, the Lobnick family writes, the support we've received has sustained us. Even in the midst of unbearable tragedy, we have felt loved and supported. Eric was a person who wanted to give. He was a steward of his gifts, raising awareness and support for cardiac testing in young people, athletes especially, could be his final gift. He always had a smile on his face after every football game, after every time I saw him. I mean, it's, uh, you know, amazing kid, amazing family, amazing community, and it'll live on. The family has started to GoFundMe to help honor Eric's life, and there's already talk of creating a football scholarship in his name.